From Meltdown Comics in Hollywood, it's great to be back. You guys missed a doozy up at the uh, outside lands of uh, San Francisco. Harmontown, once again, is now in session. Yep. Yep. Dave Klein, go to the mic and give us a good yoop to start us off. Just give me one good yoop. One yoop. Yoop. All right, sit sit down. Spencer Crittenden, everybody. Spencer! <laughs> yep. Let's bring out the mayor of Harmontown, fresh from the ladies' room, Mr. Dan Harmon. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hello, all right. I thought the punchline was going to be, it doesn't ring a bell. His, his I face doesn't ring it. a bell. I didn't hear it. I know there was a guy. It was a good joke. A, yeah. yeah. It was the dead ringer. Was that De- it? Yeah. It oh, was a dead yeah. ringer for the last Classic. Yeah. <laughs> Classic joke. You didn't have to fill in for me. I was I was ready to... I was just... Seeing I was told to stretch. I panicked. Oh. Oh. I really... I really tossed that out early. Uh, all right. Well, uh, let's see. Uh-oh. So we saw we saw a radio head uh, at, at Outside Lands. We did. And I, 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 I realize the name of their band is uh, is kind of actually even though they're they're not um, uh, 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 at all uh, the, the genre uh, that their the name of their band actually sounds like the name of a song from like an eighties like heavy metal band like like and I kept I kept I was like get, I was getting really high and I was singing I, I have this <laughs> song I, I made up in my head that, like. like uh, <laughs> like it goes a little something like this. <laughs> I didn't want to present it as like, oh, it's a real song, but I, I guess I did, and I just but I, but I just but I just started doing it a lot. And it was uh, so. Uh, Can we me, hear it? Can we me, hear a little yeah, bit? Let me just let me just try a little right. uh, acapella here. Uh, <clears throat> Turn your station to misery. <laughs> I'll watch your dial. I don't know. It's placeholder lyrics. <laughs> What's your favorite frequency? I've got a Radio head, a radio head, radio soul, radio rock, radio roll. I got a radio head. Uh-huh. A thousand watts of d- devil power <laughs> beaming in your soul, antennas in your Satan dick. <laughs> to transmit in rock and roll I got a radio head Can we get the person that made the uh, uh, the Rob Schraub uh, <laughs> uh, It Gets Worse song to, to, put, to put that to a beat and, and get, give me some heavy guitar on that one? It was yeah. it was better when I was high and then I get up here and I'm nervous. It was fucking you know. great. All right, thanks. It was great. You were high in San Francisco on stage yesterday and you were beyond delightful. You, you, yeah. you, you hit a beautiful sweet spot. Then we got into a limo getting back from the airport today, and Dan started just yelling at his laptop. <laughs> and we didn't know what was going on, but you lost a jetpack in Minecraft. Yeah. <laughs> I, went, I went to the nether with, with, with my jetpack because I wanted to get a broken spawner so that I could make a powered spawner with Endermen in it so I could harvest Ender Pearls and, like, you know, like, like ratchet up my game a little bit. <laughs> And I, I, I started burrowing through a wall of netherrack and uh, was just blithely, cockily, like, just ch- chim- chimney in along. And, and then I, 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 got, I got buried in lava and I lost my jetpack. And, and then I went back to my base and uh, I tried to make another jetpack. I need uh, appliances to do that. And like, I forgot that I, I was using a tier one industrial craft uh, metal former. <laughs> With a, it hooked up to a CESU, which is a tier two uh, power source, and it, oh. the metal former blew up. Dan, don't talk down to us. <laughs> <sighs> so the CESU was a tier two power transformer, then. Yeah, I had to, forgot to put a that transformer upgrade into the okay. metal former. How many metal formers exploded before you figured that out? About th- three or four. Yeah. Jesus, and yeah. that is a lot of iron, if I'm not mistaken. That's okay because I have that iron exploit. Right, I, of course. I, have, uh, I can. I can. That's been our show. Thanks for coming, everybody. <laughs>
All right. Well, okay. So, so if that doesn't amaze you, this will. <laughs> well, do, don't assume we weren't amazed by that. I kind of a cried. I did something wrong. Like while well, I was like grabbing my laptop on the plane, and I, I cracked my thumbnail a little bit. Like it's just a little like like chippy thing where it was like wherever you put your hand, it's going to get snagged. You know, and that yeah, kind yeah. of thing. Nothing that big a deal, but it had to be taken care of. So while we were waiting for, for you, because we had that whole double shuttle thing happening, and we were waiting by the door, it's like, well, I have fingernail clippers. It might be a little gross, but it's LAX. Who cares? Like, I'll, I'll go over to the, way, the garbage can. I'll be very discreet, and I'll just, like, clip a little bit. Some people are very, you know, I'm aware, you know, there's different people have different th- triggers, you know. It's like, 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 for some people, the sight or sound of somebody clipping their fingernails is fucking, like, awful, disgusting for them. Like, like other people, f- f- teeth scraping on a fork. You don't know. So I, try, I, went, I, went, I went over to a garbage can away from everybody else, and I, I just very discreetly, I was like, it's just going to be one thumbnail, and I, and I, I, I clipped. And it went shooting like a rocket. <laughs> ju- just missed someone's head, like that was sitting, and I just like ignored it. <laughs> it's like, I, I'm, I'm amazed. What, what if I had pelted somebody with a fingernail? Like, like that would like, be a like, bummer. That would be insane. Yeah. Like, what do you? How do you even get out of that? How do you even? What do you even say? Did you enjoy your Radiohead experience yesterday? <clears throat> yeah, it was good. I was I just ate a lot of funnel cake and like peanut butter and chocolate and got a little bad heartburn. But Outside Lands was fun. We were walking around it. I mean, I didn't like watch Radiohead or anything. You could hear them playing it anyway. And it's like it's not it's not it's like they're going to be better live. It's Radiohead. Not they're not they're not they're not they're not acoustic head. Like, like they're not they're not they're not they're. They're not the Pixies. They fucking they have radios for heads. They're like they're, they're, they're as I understand it, they radio rock and radio roll. <clears throat> the devil wants your station, <laughs> broadcasting all night long. My black heart's got a woofer tweeter. <laughs> Broadcast my song. I'm a radio head. W- was this song sung by Starscream from the Decepticons? Yeah. <laughs> On the way out to San Francisco, uh, you know, you go up to the kiosk right before the uh, x-ray machines, and everybody's using the QR code things now, and uh, I go, boop, and it doesn't work. Everybody else goes through. The guy's like, it's real cranky, and he goes, uh, he goes, it's not working. It's not reading your thing, and I'm like, well, boop, you know, and it's not, it's not working, and then the guy's like, well, do you have a paper ticket? And I said, no, and he's like, well, that's weird. <laughs> What? Yeah, that's so weird. So weird to not because when we made the decision to maybe cut down a few less trees by putting by using fucking coal electric plants to like get on the plane instead, like you know, like oh yeah, the, it would be weird to not do both. It would be weird to not like cut down a tree, turn that into a ticket, and then also have like a power plant chug into your phone, and then also use that. Yeah, real weird. <laughs> Fucking dick. Why don't you just shit? How about how about you stick to what's ISIS and what's not ISIS, and I'll I'll tell you what's weird. You fucking fake cop. <laughs> fucking weird, weird, weird fake cop with a baggy ass uniform. They're always all baggy and dirty. They look like they're wearing cop pajamas. <laughs> fucking misshapen. Fucking cop rejects. Fucking crit. Just every 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 single one of them just either either at the bottom of their life or walking a razor thin line between. <laughs> fucking like you're, you're never going on TSA pre again, my friends. <laughs> Oh yeah, TSA pre sure. Let's 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 get that vampire in our kitchen. Sure. Does <laughs> so any, anybody here have TSA pre? Does anybody subject themselves to that? I always wonder about that. Uh, I was right, but I, you, See, said, I, you said I, it's I, supposed to be great. Is that what you said? <laughs> yeah, I know. It looks great, and they make it look great because they have a whole lane that they're not using, and they. What's that? It's not convenient. Are you a? Ask for a wheelchair? You could smuggle drugs if you got a wheelchair. Just get a kid and ask for the known traveler number, and then you, you don't have to take out your laptop, your internet, your pre-check, your everything. I find the best way is to, to get through security fast is be Seth Rogen. <laughs> yeah. I, I think I've told on the show before where I broke my toe and I had a cane, and I got right through everything. I, I, I just had a cane. I, I just had a broken pinky toe, and I got right up in front. And the, I was behind a, like a, a Iraq a veteran, like who had like like been blown up, like with you know b- b- below the knee on both legs. Like I was like I, I I just have a little boo boo, and yet they walk you right through. 
Yep. So you get you guys know what hyperplexia is? Oh yeah. <laughs> My fa- I, a girlfriend uh, had a friend at the show. She 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 uh, one of her gigs is uh, teaching autistic kids, and uh, she's talking about hyperplexia, which is like the opposite of dyslexia, I guess. Where it's where you can read really fast, especially in ch- like it's for, like little kids in childhood, like like that read really fast, but you have low comprehension. You don't actually know what you're reading. And I always I I was like, oh yeah, I like. I can read really well, but I can't. I have to read like I, if I if I didn't know you weren't supposed to move your lips when you read, I would absolutely move my lips because that's how, only how fast I can understand anything because I have to like, hear it in my head. But I can read. I could read like a page and just not have any retention. I wonder yeah. if I'm hyperplexic. Wouldn't that be cool? That would be amazing. Wouldn't that be cool, Jeff? If I was hyperplexic, so cool. <laughs> You'd be like you, you'd be like the Fonz of reading. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because he because he, he loved rock and roll, but he'd hit the jukebox and it would just it yeah. would play or stop playing. I was like, he, he's he, too good. He called the toilet his office. Yeah. He doesn't fucking know. What a cool guy. What a cool guy. <laughs> called the toilet his office. He was he was fifty five and like uh, hung out with teenagers who were thirty eight. <laughs> he was a fifty five year old Jewish guy who hung out with teenagers. It was, uh, it was four foot three. He just lived in lived in your attic and and just uh, and told everyone to sit on it all the time. <laughs> sit on what? It. Sit on his dick. Do you think what that, Do you think that's what sit on it meant? Sit on sit on my dick. Rape culture, man. It's fucked up. The fifties yeah. were fucked up <laughs> in the seventies. <70s. laughs> Gary Marshall just passed away. Why are we laughing? Stop it. Way to go, you fucking ghouls. So, I'm I'm sure seventy five percent of people have never seen an episode of Happy Days in their life. Yeah, but everybody knows about it. And that's that 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 goes to uh, Gary Marshall's efficacy. He did uh, Mark and Mindy, Richard, uh, Laverne and Shirley. When do you think Happy Days jumped the shark? Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'll say it was two seasons before the shark episode. <laughs> When they brought Mork on, when Mork was there, I met the guy that coined that phrase. Uh, he's uh, he's on Stern, right? The Stern, the Stern, one of the Stern Network shows or something. I don't yeah, know. that's what right. he says. Okay, Grandpa. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, seriously, that's it. That's all I got. That's nice. it. That, that's all the show we have. Well, we gave them a lot in San Francisco, and then we turned out we weren't recording. <laughs> That's what happened. I did a whole thing where I did a Michael Winslow meets Radiohead thing. <laughs> yeah, he, he. I mean, oh, do it again. I just, I tried funny. to do so much again already. I I mean, yeah, it was like, it was a uh, well. Uh, he, you, here's, you, here's here's my you, you my, did my, you, uh, uh, you did a, uh, a, a concert full of can openers or, right. or can openers electric can openers went to a concert where Radiohead was playing. Well, I'm gonna but there change, was a I'm helicopter. Gonna, I'm gonna tweak it. I'm gonna change it now that we're, we get to do it. But there again. was there was a helicopter it. and Michael Winslow was flying the helicopter while having a leaf blower going. Right. So I'm, gonna, Morgan, so I'm going to Morgan, tweak it so you don't have to recap Morgan it. Freeman showed up at some point. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say Michael Winslow is getting into a helicopter made of can openers. Okay? Okay. So he has to start each electric can opener to make the helicopter get going. And then he's going to use a leaf blower to attack Radiohead. Okay. Why? Jesus. <laughs> Does somebody actually say why? Yeah. I mean, he just blurted it out. Like, it's like, why? Well... Like I almost forgive him. Like it can, wasn't. He can, didn't even think about it. He's that. I, I, yes. I, I have to forgive it because that's immersion. Like why, he's immersed. How high are the stakes? Yeah. He's like, why? 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 Oh, I, I actually know the answer, sir. Because Morgan Freeman shows up. That's why he's doing it. No, you're just confusing people. Like it's, you, you don't have to recreate the dumb. Uh, what, okay. Yeah. So walk us through what you're gonna do now. Okay. So Michael Winslow is <laughs> a, is a, <laughs> either take your shirt off or don't take your shirt off. You can't just half take off a shirt. <laughs> Dan forgot he was taking his shirt off halfway through. I was just gonna, just gonna well, leave. I had it more to say. If I was saying, I can't have talk a weird halter top on for the rest of the show. <laughs> yeah, I. <laughs> Uh, just the good I'll just, I'll just start boys. washing everybody's car. Yeah, <laughs> just bringing hot wings to your to your seats. 
the uh, Michael Winslow is ge- is getting in his helicopter made of electric can openers. Okay. Um, the re- and to answer your question, sir, the answer is because Radiohead and Michael Winslow both operate in the field of phonics sound. Uh, and Radiohead Michael Winslow mistakenly feels is is abusing sound. Uh, because they're using electronics and things um, uh, and he's to... More, he's more analog. They're he's more, more digital. He's more analog, yeah. and it feels that sound... that he's, he's that Both of them are locked in a flawed dichotomy. Um, <laughs> what happens is they learn to overcome their differences because there's a third, like, truly evil force that they have to unite... But uh, no spoilers. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. But this is like we find Michael Winslow uh, going to his helicopter pad at Michael Winslow Manor. Uh, <clears throat> That's just, he makes that sound. What he's, he's like, and then he goes up. I want to get on my helicopter made of can openers. Wait, hold on. <coughs> oh, shit. <coughs> Dan, we don't have to do this. If, 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 if you're not ready, this is called refusal of a call. This is like, so, refusal of a call. So to leave blood in the wrong place, everything, everything, everything is in its right place. Let's get back to things. Hey, whatever the lead singer of Radiohead's name is. <laughs> it's me, the, your right-hand man, whatever my name is, the bass player. If we have a bass. Uh, what is it, Tyler? Uh, are you, should we, we, shouldn't we go check to make sure Michael Winslow is truly taken out? <laughs> you saw the explosion. That one wasn't a uh, mouth noise one. (laughs) Hubris, everything in its right place. In its right place. (laughs) Oh, shit. (laughs) Ah, ah, oh, oh, leg wound. Oh, oh, twig. Ah! Second twig stab. Ah! Pocket microphone. Tiny jam box speaker. <laughs> Ad hoc, strange phonic based first aid technique. <laughs> in which the two twigs pick up like a dowsing rod the sound of my healing but it's not gonna feel good (laughs) there stop the bleeding Uh, everything in its right place thank you everybody we're radiohead all right, good night. Man, Tyler, that was great. <laughs> Let's go back to the dressing room. Yeah, come on. Man, we fucking radio headed those motherfuckers. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Michael Winslow. <sighs> 
Take it easy, man. Just take it easy. No. <clears throat> I think there's been a big misunderstanding. And if we all just remember that we both enjoy the nuances of sound. <laughs> two, two knives. <laughs> Shit, he made the sound of them bouncing off his head, so they did. Uh, just, just beat him up silently. Ah, I said silently, Steve. Sorry. What the fuck? Everybody, go outside under the deck. Look, it's a giant thing. I'm so exhausted. I'm not going to make anything up. This is... <laughs> it's a giant thing. <laughs> Work together. <laughs> yeah. See you next summer. Oh. Wait. I kind of... The third act had third act didn't. It kind of it kind of rushed towards the end there. Yeah. But so so Radiohead uh, and Steve, uh, Michael Winslow learned to work together. Yeah, yeah. To, 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 to defeat the giant thing. <laughs> yeah, there's a by large, making fart sounds. Out yeah, of them. yeah. They yeah. farted on it. They died. I like that. I didn't know that Radiohead was run by Steve and Tyler. Yeah. <laughs> there was Steve and Tyler. Yeah. <laughs> yep. 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 There. Are two keyboards in here? There's a song I want to play. There's a song I want to play. Everything <laughs> in its right place. <coughs> Radiohead. <laughs> I like. No, please. Okay. No, <laughs> <laughs> but what would it be like if Radiohead worked at your local produce se 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 section? Um, I think it will go a little something. Yesterday like I found someone sucking this lemon. Okay. <laughs> I just I just remembered there's some produce in their lyrics and I got excited. <laughs> um, okay. All right. All right. There's still no show. There's no show. That was a brief distraction, but uh, I thought we had I thought we had guests tonight. We don't have guests. No, we were gonna have some guests and then they canceled. What? Uh, what? Yeah. You mean Steven Tyler couldn't make it tonight? <laughs> Morgan Freeman. <laughs> Morgan Freeman. He, he'd be great. <laughs> what I mean, happened the, to them? I mean, we can we even should we talk about. Well, what? the bad news is they canceled, but the good news is it was Andy Dick. <laughs> 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 so. So yeah, we we dodged our own bullet out of our own gun. <laughs> yeah, it was Dino and Andy were gonna. Dino and Andy have a new podcast together, which sounds like a bad idea. <laughs> Probably is, and they were gonna join us. Yeah, I'm sad. What, what, what was their excuse tonight? Well, who? I mean, the same thing that makes them fun to be around probably just makes it hard for them to schedule <laughs> i mean they're they're kind of an unpredictable and, and, combo and, and he's sober now though isn't he like he's, he's been like on, on the wagon for quite a while yeah he's been on the wagon many 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 times <laughs> he's very gotten very good at being on the wagon yeah i don't know i'm not gonna i'm, I'm, I'm not gonna i we, we we will talk to him about that when he comes you know yeah he's uh he's a good guy he's a great guy uh, and uh, he tried uh, to get in bed with me at the Disneyland Great Californian Hotel. <laughs> we were there doing an event for ABC, and he tried his hardest to get in bed with me. And like I, I was asleep, and he ordered everything on the room service menu. <laughs> everything he ordered, everything that was on the menu, he ordered it up there, and then just left. <laughs> Did he eat the food? No, he, he, he's, he's, he weighs as much as my shoe. He ordered a, 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 a thousand people's worth of food and then just ate like a bite of a cheeseburger and then just fucked right off after trying to physically assault me. Like he wanted to make love? He, yeah, yeah. Well, he was in my car one time 
And his son was in the back. And his son, was, I think, was not quite 21 yet. I think he was like 19 or 20. And we were going to a bar. So I've got Andy and his underage son in the back of my new Lexus. And Andy pulls out of his coat a, a Heineken the size of a keg. I, I must have told the story before on the show. No? I can't remember. Have I? No. He pulls one of those giant Heinekens out, the big ones, like, 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 like a Dave Klein Foster's, you know, kind of like a big-ass beer, and opens it up, and it explodes all over every, every bit, my, my face, every, the windshield, every part of the interior of my car is covered in warm Heineken foam. <laughs> And we're, it's it's nighttime. We're driving down Hollywood Boulevard, and he has got the he's got the door open, like the, the, the door is fully open. As I'm driving down the street, and he's shouting the N word at full volume to everybody that we pass. Then we come to a stop around Hollywood and Vine, like maybe Argyle, somewhere around there. And guess guess who's about to cross the street? Black gentleman. I'm like Andy, fucking don't, don't. And I'm looking in the rearview mirror at, at his son, and, he, and the son's looking at me like, like we both have a look like we, we may have to kill him. <laughs> He's we like, might have to kill Andy before he does. What he does. <laughs> He's like a crying baby uh, behind enemy lines in Vietnam. Shut that Andy dick up! Smother him! So... He opens the door and starts screaming the N-word at this middle-aged black gentleman who sees it as Andy Dick and just gets a big kick out of it. (laughs) My car is covered. My my, my car now smells like a warm Heineken. And we get to this bar on Vine and we get in there and I was so bummed out and Andy walks in. He has a broken finger and if you asked him why, he doesn't know. He doesn't remember how he got it. He's got a broken index finger on his left hand. He sees a girl sitting with a cocktail, and he puts his index finger in her drink, like a brand new, clearly just a vodka on the rocks. Just sticks his finger into her drink and then picks it up and walks off with it. And this girl's like, what the fuck? And I, I was like, and I'm like oh, what, what was that, a vodka? She's like, yeah, it's a like, kettle rocks. I just fucking got it. I was like, I'll get you a new drink. And she's like, who the fuck is this guy? I go, do you know who Andy Dick is? And she's like, no. I'm like, it's better that you don't. <laughs> And I turned to his son and said, I'm going to beat your father up tonight, and you're going to either help me or watch. <laughs> and he says, I will help you. <laughs> yeah, so maybe they'll be here next week. And... <laughs> uh, he is yeah. the best at being the worst. He makes, D- he makes Dino look like me. <laughs> Yeah, they used to be a comedy team. A lot of people don't know that. They used to do like a two-man comedy act where Andy would hit Dino as hard as he could. (laughs) And and Dino would get a boner or something. I don't know. I I don't know what the punchline was. I think they did like like old um, like Abbott and Costello routines, but instead of like slapping, they'd actually, he'd really physically like smash him. Um, They have a, well, they have a podcast coming to Feral Audio is why. What's it called? I Skull juice. Skull juice. Yuck. Gross. Skull juice. There's, well, l- listen at your own risk. Yeah. Uh, all right. Well, who here? Who here has a problem that needs to be solved? <laughs> y- y- young lady, the, your hand went up first. I think I see glasses. Uh, if you, would you want to come up and share your problem? All right. Okay. Who do we got? What's your name, Adam? Oh. Gabrielle, hello. Or is it a matter? Of my is it okay? Yes. Okay. Sorry, I saw, I saw glasses and a ponytail. That's we're, yeah, no. We're that's, in Los Angeles. That's accurate. So that's one of the problems. The is it the gender dichotomy? Oh, okay. Yeah. Is that, I, I know I can help with that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. You're the king. If, if I, have a, I have a surgeon's for... touch <laughs> yes, I... with the gender politics. The trans community loves me. Uh, they trust me. It's true. I uh, heard them. They said that to me. <laughs> they said, <laughs> yeah. where, where are the meetings again? Uh, it's just like, it's, it's actually like behind Meltdown Comics. We just right. hang out right there. Um, if you need help with that logo, too, I'm sure I can. <laughs> um, well, so what's the, Ga- Ga- Gabrielle, uh, mm-hmm. what is the, uh, what, well, how can we help you? Uh, 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 I have uh, chronic pain throughout my, the right side of my body. 
Uh, I don't know how you can help me. <laughs> from, well, an, from an we, injury or we, from... We, we can hit you very hard on the left side of your body. <laughs> <laughs> Create yeah, some that, balance. That makes sense, yeah. <laughs> uh, no, it's just the... Uh, yeah, I've, I've been to like more doctors in the past two years than I have in like my entire life. So. Uh, how so, did it start? Uh, slowly, because with chronic pain, it's like you don't realize... You, you just think you're lazy and like need to work out more. <laughs> so it's like... Eventually, did, 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 I'm sorry, I'm, I'm I'm ignorant about this. Did it come from an injury, or is it something oh, no, just kind no. of came on all of a sudden? I, yeah, it kind of came on like all of a sudden, like when I was like, ew, like 20 or something. I started realizing like my body kind of sucked. Are you currently in pain right now? <laughs> yeah, it, it it hurts like like right here. It's like it gets better. Like it 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 get it gets better and worse. Worse ish. Is it what kind of pain is it? Like a throbbing pain or a shooting pain it's or like a, it? it's almost like a numb numb pain and uh is it, it like nerve pain? Yeah, it's kinda like nerve pain. It's, it's like Do you have the same thing? Is it on one side? Yeah, it's on the right yeah. side. Do you know what it is? Yeah, I uh, Well let's get you up. Get, here. Get, let's, let's, let's. I told you we could help you. We're gonna build like a we're gonna build like a Voltron right now. <laughs> We're gonna. Well, <laughs> as long as you guys are okay becoming one person that's 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 made of two left sides. What's your name? I think we have the solution. Uh, my name is Marina. Marina. Hello, Marina. Hi. Sorry, I kind of sucked you up here. Like oh, I didn't. No, I didn't make is, sure that you would be okay coming up. But this I, is actually great because I I have some advice for you too. Oh, sweet. Um, Thank you. I've got Lyme disease, and so I've had to have. Multiple surgeries on my joints because they've collapsed, and you've got a nice little Frankenstein uh, kind of scar here. I've had uh, nerve pain all throughout the right side of my body for it. Been to doctors just like you, um, in and out of different pain clinics and stuff, but I finally found something that works. Great. And uh, whew, sorry, <laughs> it's a it's a it's a tough thing. So where whereabouts? You said it's a right, right about here. It, well, it's it kind of. It kind of just like goes throughout my body, and so like it becomes hard to. Uh, it it kind of goes up into my shoulder. Like it starts like down around this area, comes up, goes into my shoulder, and then my neck hurts so much it kind of like makes my head all foggy all the time. And so. Okay, yeah. I actually. I'm a massage therapist as well. I can like try something. Um, sure. Uh, yeah. and- <laughs> All right. Sure. This is great. I didn't, and, uh, I didn't expect to come to Harmontown and get a and get a massage. Yeah. Sure. Uh, I don't know if I could drop the okay. mic. Is there a but- waiver that we have to sign? <laughs> We are not a we're not a medical clinic. This is all on her. Okay. Okay. You are you are surrendering your your uh, your your safety to her. This is all uh, consensual. Yeah. <laughs> I thought I thought for sure it seemed like what she said. I think I might be able to help you. I was like, if she said Squarespace.com, yeah, we're gonna be rich. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, can, we, can we get the lights down a little bit lower right now? <laughs> Gonna prepare your nerve damage with massage. Yeah, to the break of dawn. Yeah. yeah. Get off my lawn. Uh, Jeff's taking the, the, the leg that doesn't hurt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, deep tissue. Get inside. Get in Gabrielle's neck with your fingers. Marina. Yeah. Yo. Marina means house on the water. <laughs> Yo. Yeah. The, the uninformed Spanish rapper. <laughs> <laughs> Marina means place where you keep a boat And right now she's going to help float Into Gabriella's pain And win the game With her healing fingertips Fucked your mama so hard I brought feeling back to Gab's hips Yeah, all the joints <laughs> Welcome Annoying. to Harmontown Nights. <laughs> <laughs> this this, this shit got sexy as hell. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. The weirdest experience. So, yeah, uh, Marina, did you. You, did you learn this stuff because you had pain and then you went to the doctor and they're like, I don't know, you figure it out. <laughs> Actually, uh, I uh, I did learn because of an injury. I was I used to run track, and uh, my uh, my friend uh, was teaching me how to do it. But he was like a foot taller than me. I was trying to run a hurdle, and I tore my hamstring. And the trainer uh, was there and uh, taped me up, and it was awesome. And she just worked on my legs a bit. I was like, whoa, this is magical. Why don't I do this every single day? And uh, so I went to school for it, and it was awesome. You got really comfortable with your body because you got to be naked. And, uh, you know... (laughs) Just when you show up for class? (laughs) You you work on each other. Do you work in Little Tokyo by any chance? Oh, no, no, no. I actually stopped. I'm I'm a writer now. I'm a feature writer for Cracked.com now, and... uh, I do research too, but uh, you know, with all this stuff, I can't do massage so much anymore. But you said you said that helped. Yeah, it does. Yeah, fantastic. Thank you. I have another another thing with this uh, chronic pain is actually kind of a, a rant for me. Um, DEA really pisses me off. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there's a uh, there's a nice thing though. Um, I'm not on any you know not on nearly so many painkillers as I used to be because I discovered something really awesome. Got super into uh, you know a lot of alternative medicine is bullshit, but uh, there's actually a really good uh, thing called kratom. Kratom. I don't know if any of you guys have heard of it. It's from you know Thailand, Malaysia, that area. I've been making this tincture out of it, and it's totally worked. I have some with me, if you would like to try it at some point. <laughs> and this is related to your, your trouble with the DEA, right? <laughs> what, what, what is no, uh, Can they've, you tell us more what kratom is? Sure, is it a plant? It's a, it is, is a plant. A, it's a plant. Isn't that what spice yeah. is made out of? Oh my no, God. no. Um, at least not to, I mean, not, not to my knowledge. Uh, if it is, it's pro- spice would be probably pretty expensive, but... But uh, it's a funny thing. Um, there used to be, a, there probably still is, a humongous opium problem in Thailand, I believe it was. It was uh, just one, you know, one of those countries over there. Of course. <laughs> Somewhere around the Golden Triangle. Uh, and one of those the, flyover countries. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> Places that you just don't go. But uh, So the government was actually providing a lot of this opium, and they were discovering that people were chewing the leaves of the kratom tree that grew just everywhere, and they were not addicted to opium anymore, because it actually works to get you off of it. So they made it illegal and also started chopping down all the trees (laughs) so that they could, you know, get people hooked on opium again. And it's currently illegal there. It's illegal, I believe, in Canada. It's illegal in the UK. But illegal, still, you're saying? Yeah, illegal. But it's legal here. It's Although, called cre- kratom. Yep, K R A T O M. People are still kind of. Sounds like a He-Man villain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So the so the DEA has been looking at it and like, oh, people are getting high on this. They're actually enjoying themselves. We gotta, we gotta get rid of this. You know, this, this is not gonna bode well. You, you get high on it, but it also gets you off of opium. It gets you, yeah. It absolutely works for any kind of. If you're not problems. on opium, do you think it might get you on it a little bit? <laughs> is it maybe a gateway? I don't know. You also, know, never... my other question is: Are you holding right now? <laughs> no, <laughs> I don't. I don't. I don't, never had opium. Where can a guy before? get some kratom in this town? Is my question. <laughs> I, I get it online. Uh, just oh. powder stuff, and then I make it. You can also go to Kratom Barrel, right? Is a... <laughs> I don't know. Adam Goldberg isn't here anymore. I thought, I, thought I'd Kratom Barrel. Thought I'd do what 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 he'd shout out. <laughs> now, Gabrielle, back to you. Yes. Uh, uh, you, you is there anything like that goes beyond the, just just your your chronic pain? Like what what else is going on with you? Uh, 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 uh I don't know. Just um. Uh, uh, my existential pain, <laughs> my of 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 just no, just just like no, I don't. You have a great ponytail. This this, 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 part, this ponytail is, is rocking. It is it's a wonderful pretty great. ponytail. Yeah, and you and you do. We kind of skipped over it. You you identify as female. That's your, yeah, you, yeah. you you want to be referred to as she, her. Yes, yes. 
Mom? No, I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> hey, I'll, I'll call you mom if you want. I, no, 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 no. Uh, I was, I was, it was saying it as if my mom was listening. Like, oh, 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 call, oh, me. Sh- call me a girl. Is this, is this a uh, awkward way for your mom to find out? Maybe. <laughs> does your mom yeah, listen like, to Harmon Town? No, no, no. <laughs> does, does mom, does mom know or not? Not know? Yeah, no. I, t- I told them. I told them through, through text. Right, yeah. I told him through a, a long, a long. What what, what emoji went along with that one? Uh, uh, and like, like the non like smoking sign, but also like a dick. <laughs> Is that in the that in the Is eggplant? Like the eggplant? Yeah, yeah I, I guess so. Yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> awesome. Um, all right, so. Where do we go from here? <laughs> Cre- Kratom, I still want... Okay, so it's still... You can still get it in the United States yes, like through like websites and stuff. Yeah, but yeah. it's like a, it's a currently currently still legal, soon to be illegal, Maybe. Uh, uh, sure sort of o- 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 opiate uh, fighter, uh, uh, yep. a bottlenose dolphin to, the, to, to <laughs> opium's uh, shark. Yep. Uh, Gives you a Michael Winslow things. to Opium's Radiohead. Right. <laughs> In that they yes. should learn to get along before Gamera shows up. Yeah, it gets you out of the. It'll get you out of the pain clinics. It's pretty fantastic. You can make it at home very easily. I've just you know if you just happen to have like a hundred ninety proof corn liquor hang you know laying around, then you're then that's all you need. Some mason jars, you're good. But uh, it's changed my life completely. <laughs> so, have, like, tell us more parts. about your, your run-ins with the DEA again. Because <laughs> what you're talking I've about never, sounds I've highly never, illegal. Uh, oh, no, I've never had any run-ins with the DEA. <laughs> you might I'm not, now. Uh, yeah, might now, but uh, no, I just... Um, you know Gabrielle's mom works for the DEA. <laughs> yeah. This has been a sting. <laughs> uh, Marina, you're wearing yeah. a Wonder Woman shirt. Did you, are, are you a longtime fan of Wonder Woman as a, as a myth, or are you... A re, uh, have have you been recently converted by the uh, Superman <laughs> Batman movie, <laughs> or did you just like the way the shirt, you know, looked? Or I love. I'm a I'm a comic book nerd, big time for games, comics. Yeah, thank you. Uh, Are you looking forward Wonder to Woman. the new movie? I am. It's I, about goddamn time. I have a bet with my friend. I bet on Suicide Squad. Um, I bet that it would be over seventy percent on Rotten Tomatoes. Rip. Um, with my friend, we, we we bet on a pizza. So, but, but he said we could double or nothing on Wonder Woman. So, I'm hoping I get two pizzas. What's your, awesome. what's your side of the bet on Wonder Woman? Uh, I guess seventy. Yeah. Same same yeah. thing. Oh, okay, seventy percent. I'm betting on mediocrity. What's the what's the, can... what's the team working on Wonder Woman? Who's the director? Uh, Patty Jenkins. She did, she did Roller Ball. Roller. Ro- no, no, no. Monster Ball. <laughs> Monster, what, no. <laughs> Monster, <laughs> Roller, Monster Ball. Roller Monster Ball. I don't. I, okay. <laughs> that Halle Berry. It, I, there's a thing. I was reading an article now. Uh, yeah, I guess it's a. It's no accident that the the thing now is to take like you know they're not getting like the big gigantic like rock star names. Which are probably almost as hit and miss, really, as anybody else in these giant what they call tentpole movies. Uh, so they're because they're so expensive, and they come with the the ability to go. No, I'm I need five years, and I need you to get out of my face. Mm-hmm. And so they're they're working with first timers a lot. Like they're like really like like green directors, and they're having just as much success as failure, really. It's as as and, and so uh, yeah. That's I don't know. I thought that was interesting. I was like, oh, I didn't know this was like part of a big. Like sea change, but that's that's what it is. is there, I think DC just like tried to catch up really fast with Marvel. Like they failed at uh, Batman versus Superman and the tone that they wanted. So so immediate with with Suicide Squad, they were like, well, let's make uh, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy right. two point five. Well, yeah, they obviously. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, nothing opened our eyes to the, the the importance of the rating, like Deadpool. I mean, that's like that's such an easy thing to talk about now. Is to just mm. go look, I, I, like let's just. Is it going to be rated R or not? Because if you're going to, if you're, are you, is, if if the word edgy is going to be in the in the in the menu and and it's not going to be rated R, then you you might as well embrace the non edge. You know, I think. Yeah, uh, absolutely. What, what was uh, what was the second? What was the Heath Ledger Batman movie? Was that PG thirteen? Uh, yeah, PG thirteen. So they, they 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 managed it. I guess the key is you have to be violent and not sexual. <laughs> like exactly. You just have to like we murder are so people. So terrified of boobs. It's ridiculous. <laughs> but. 
Yeah, I uh, don't want to spoil anything for anybody about Suicide Squad, but uh, who who here has seen it so far? It's got some. <laughs> <laughs> I love the I love that tone. You That's a good assholes. one. Yeah. <laughs> so look, it looked just from the trailer like I I I'm, I'm speaking way out of school here because I was never like oh, I was yeah. never on board with you the whole. You predicted what the whole movie was about. Oh, I did. I did ran down the. That like, was fun. Yeah, but, it was but, a fun car ride to work. And I did. <laughs> and I did see in an article. I saw a spoiler that said I was right about the. Yeah, the, yeah of course yeah. it's. Yeah, I don't know. Um, uh, but 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 I thought it was interesting. Like like Har- Harley Quinn. Like I mean, am I? I is I, mean, the, I understand the political climate. Like calls for a uh, a more uh, actualized Harley Quinn, <laughs> like an autonomous like Harley <laughs> Quinn with agency. But at the same time, what? How? How? How much can you make her appropriate before she stops being Harley Quinn? Like I, I, I when I was watching the trailer, I was like, I was like, well, I thought, I thought, I thought she was a guilty pleasure character. I thought, I thought she was sort of like, like put another female character in a Who Suicide feels Squad guilty movie about Harley Quinn's pleasure. What'd you say? Do you feel guilty about? Uh- well, sure I do. If I'm if I'm if I'm enjoying her, like, and the, really the only place I've consumed her is Batman, the Arkham video games. Like, like, like that's right. that's where I that's awesome. where my relationship with Harley Quinn happens. And she she comes she comes on screen, and then and, and I go like, okay, I get it. <laughs> I understand. And as I like, it's it's so over the top that it's like I would say you could you could this would be this is fine as long as you put a bunch of post post posts on the front of whatever this is. Like it's post 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 feminist or whatever. Like I was like. Because she's like the archetype of like the you know she is really supportive as a girlfriend <laughs> to oh, the yeah, point yeah. of absolute self destruction. I mean, she has yeah. no identity of her own, and so. But then we've got so then we're making her. She almost looks like she's the protagonist of Suicide Squad. Actually, the, interestingly, the protagonist of Suicide Squad is Will Smith, who is really kind of playing himself more than Deadshot. Um, he's this family man who, weirdly enough, spends most of the movie without his mask, even though in the comics he's got the mask on the entire time. And the thing is, the uh, Suicide Squad, I don't think this will spoil too much, but uh, it's Uh got some troubling messages in it, because the ultimate moral of the of the story in the end kind of suggests that it's totally okay to, uh, that a good guy is okay with his daughter doing trigonometry by talking about shooting people from buildings. It's like, oh well, let me uh, let me find the um, hypotenuse here. That's the, the ultimate moral. <laughs> yeah, that's the that is what they're talking about because uh, he's this family Wait, is man. This, and is this his character? So when when because Deadshot is he's uh, his whole character is he's good at shooting, right? Yeah. Right. So but, but but like in the movie, is he like doing math? Is it like a beautiful mind in the background? <laughs> on, no. Like, I wish. No, he's. It's. Oh man. It's, Does he have like a little baby shot daughter? Is that what you're? Is it like like like? Is he sequel. like like like? St- it sounds like it's not. It sounds like he's you said a, he's a family he's man. A little, he's got a little girl, and uh, she she. Oh, I almost spoiled something, but uh, oh, she's yeah. involved with something. But yeah, no, no. At the end of it, you know, he's doing math with her, and uh, he says at one point in the movie, you know, I just don't want my daughter to think I'm. Uh, I just want to do something. So my daughter doesn't think I'm a piece of shit, even though I murder people for money. <laughs> yeah, he's a super just, villain. Yeah. <laughs> but he doesn't and want to look like a piece of tone. shit. Yeah. <laughs> well, it, yeah. yeah. The tone kind of switches off throughout the whole movie, because if it would stay consistent, that would have been cool. You know, but instead it kind of tries to make you feel good about that, right. that he gets with his daughter and that she starts embracing the part of him that is a murderer. Uh, you know, they try to give you the sort oh, of fuzzies right. about that. That's like, that's like at the end of the Steve Jobs thing where she's like, I guess iPods are kind of cool. <laughs> Except it's like assassination. Right. Yes! <laughs> M- Marina, exactly. Marina, I've got this pain in my neck right now. Oh, <laughs> I can fix it. <laughs> I guess the I thing like that the the, the 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 trailer promised the uh, you know is that oh the government's like hey you know much similar to the the, to the Marvel X Men universe it's like oh what, what how can we trust all these people like, like like they're flying around and they're doing whatever they want well what if Superman goes crazy one day and, and I don't know how that gets you to what about the villains uh, what, yeah. <laughs> but uh, what if Superman wants to kill the president let's 
put bombs on all the super they villains' house and that. hide them in the White House. What I would it's understand the is like, they would go like, "Well, super. What if you ask Superman to kill ISIS and he won't do it because that's wrong? You know, like that he would just wants to arrest them. Like, 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 <laughs> like, like I don't know, I'm not kidding. Like, 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 what should it just be like the Pentagon going like, "Well, Batman doesn't follow orders and Superman's such a Boy Scout. Like, 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 how about some of these people that those guys don't get along what, with? So what well? superhero Dan would you hire if you were the president to kill ISIS?" Or, or take care of ISIS. Like, what, what, what's... Yeah, well, I'd go, I'd go to Superman first I, yeah. I, for everything, I, whether it's opening a bottle or killing ISIS. I, uh, are you willing to do this? I know he wouldn't lie. Uh, well, let, let's say Superman and Batman pass. Who do you right. who, who, who do you go to next? Uh, uh, Howard the Duck. Howard the Duck. <laughs> oh shit! Howard the Duck. Oh, what? <laughs> The DC universe? I don't know. I mean, you know, it'd be nice to give Aquaman a try. Yeah. Like, just, just feel bad Aquaman for him. As Isis. long as Isis is near the Gulf. Yeah, yeah. I was going yeah. I mean, to go into a landlocked area. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, hey, if, we, if we can get them near the, the, the Euphrates River. <laughs> Well, I would I go I would go to Wonder Woman because she's a woman, and uh, you know yeah. I would go like, look, I Google them <laughs> and and have at it. <laughs> uh, you know, do whatever you want, keep whatever you you, you keep, and <laughs> see you, see you, see you in November. <laughs> what happens in November? Election, elections. Okay. <laughs> I guess this is. I guess I assumed I was a president running for oh, oh, I, I, re, oh, re president. Yeah. yeah, is that what they call it? So is this re-election for you or the very? Yeah, first? I guess I I, you're the incumbent president trying to get re-election. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You asked me, what, who am I killing ISIS with? I don't know. It was a tough question. I was, I was surprised by it. I don't know. I think Wonder Woman is a pretty great answer. Actually. Yeah. Well, you, you're she wearing the shirt. Get into it. Yeah, yeah. I'm kind of biased, yeah. I guess. But she's a. Yeah, she's Gabrielle, a who, 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 who do you think? What uh, super villain or team is, is best equipped to kill ISIS? Godzilla. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I, I didn't really know we had. <laughs> I heard it. If we had like two or three just straight up Godzillas, right. just I, send them in there. I heard a really funny thing about you know the 2000 Godzilla movie, the uh, the one that's like Matthew Broderick. Mm-hmm. Apparently in yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> apparently I did not expect was, that response. Out of that. There was like a a, a a sequel because they they have all the Japanese. They so they just keep on making Godzilla movies and. In that movie, they said that that Godzilla in Godzilla, Matthew Broderick, wasn't a real Godzilla. It was like Americans just assumed it was Godzilla because it was a, a big lizard. And so they just kill it on screen and they're just like, that wasn't a real Godzilla. We oh, just. Shit. So they can do that with Superman, too. This, this, because everyone hates this one. So. Oh, yeah, yeah well, sure. I mean, I never understand how those movies are connected. I, I, like, like, Marvel's doing a little better job of. Uh, yeah. Of, of of making sure you get the the you know <laughs> this is a larger story. I don't know the DC. This seems like they're they're kind of. They're just resp- I, I I'm not I'm not rooting for either over the other. Yeah. Just keep making comic book movies uh, get- rather than uh, you know historical period pieces. I- G- Gabrielle, if, if 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 you hire Godzilla to go in and and take care of uh, ISIS, can you can you give Godzilla instructions or does he just kind of do his own shit? <laughs> Like, how how do you give him operational like? I don't know. Does Godzilla like have a favorite food? You just like put it, you just Tokyo. put it near ISIS and I think electricity. Well, in the uh, uh, play the play the song, yeah. I in the so. latest Godzilla movie, he's got this weird interspecies bromance with that one soldier. Uh, th- whoever yeah. saw the uh, the whitest the latest man one, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Joe and then, Joe Joe American. Yes. So get that guy. And uh, make sure you bring uh, Ken Watanabe, you know, so he can go, you know, just... Because he has this weird mind link with Godzilla as well. Right. He's in there. Also, King Kong, it occurs to me, like, at least, like, uh, the original movie King Kong and then also the 80s uh, Jeff Bridges uh, one. Um, I, he's, like, really into women. Like, like... <laughs> Like, 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 too. Like, like, so he probably would. I think you could turn him loose on the Middle East as well. Like, like if you had an enemy. But I don't. I think there'd be a lot of collateral damage. I just don't know. You know. Wasn't, wasn't there a comic that? Oh yeah, it was like a Frank Miller comic where it was originally like Batman kills the Al Qaeda or something. Oh yeah, yeah. It was a real thing, right? Yeah. He beat us to it. How do he do it? Uh, 
I don't know. We I should didn't just read it. do that. He probably just. I think he knows. <laughs> oh, no, I have a question. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> I was wrong. I mean, we, I, I don't have a show, so you may as well ask it. Yeah. <laughs> what, is the, what is the the worst job that you would tolerate doing? The worst job that I would tolerate doing. Yes. Dan specifically. Like you're asking me. Uh, d- d- Dan, oh, okay. uh, this is uh, Doug Philburn from the uh, Washington Post. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, his question is, what's the worst job you would tolerate? Sir? That's a really interesting question, because what's the worst job you would tolerate doing? So first you have to ask yourself, what's the worst job? Is it the worst? Like, yeah, the, the, the like one that you go, like, you, I, look, I'm pulling in a paycheck, but this is the, this is the, like, the, this is the lowest I'll go. Yeah, well, I kind of guess, I, but then, yeah, the word tolerate kind of needs to be explored there. Like, 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 like well, yeah, but, 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 but does that, does that mean, let's, like, let's say you're broke. I'll put some parameters on this. You're, you're broke. This is a fifteen dollar right now. No, let's say minimum wage. A minimum wage job. Minimum wage jobs. All you can have. Right. And what's what's the worst thing that you would say? Okay, I'll get up out every morning and do this thing. And right below that is a job. Fuck it, I won't do it. Well, but I won't do it. Meaning what? I'd rather die. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So you, a, you'd rather go hungry, like and and like, just die, yeah. or or turn to crime. Oh yeah, I mean, or is, is, is crime a job? <laughs> you know, like. Like, because like, like, it, it, if, if it's like, oh, you, there, you can eat shit for four dollars an hour, you can eat human oh. shit. Well, like, well, no, give me your wallet. Like, like, <laughs> whoa, you're what are you, some kind of criminal? Yeah, it pays more. <laughs> well, yeah, but crime never pays. Well, it pays more than eating shit. Like, and 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 it and like you can't beat the hours. Like, like I'm out of here. <laughs> like, like I don't, I, I would never want to be a criminal, but I don't want to eat the shit. And like, so I don't know. I, I'm just trying to. I, I, I want to just. I want to be able to answer the question like dutifully. You know, like I, the, I mean, I. I I, I, I was a dishwasher and I was awful at it, but I, I kept trying to be good at it. And I, I, I like I don't know. I mean, I it was pretty. It was uh, I, I just I, I if I was good at it, if I thought I could could have gotten good at it, I I think I could have kept doing it because it would be like oh, but 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 I'm, you know, I know there's worse jobs because like Jay Johnston like used to fucking, we worked at a fucking shit plant. What? He worked at the place where they clean shit, and Shra- Shrab worked at a place in Mayville where he, scr- he scrubbed the rims of tanks where they keep the shit. <laughs> like, like, like I've, I kind of think... I can, Why does I, that need to be scrubbed? I mean, I guess if you think about it, it's like, well, why does it need to be in a tank? And the answer is because it's got to be boundaries, you know? Like, So I guess it's like... <laughs> so I know it's, it's just simultaneously ridiculous, but then it's like, well, you know, it's like, like, hey, it's a tank full of shit, so why should the rim be clean? And then you'd be like, well, why should the outside be clean? Why should the place where the tank is be clean? Why should the city be clean, I guess? Yeah. I, I, I'm just trying to get All inside right. their heads. Dan, I, I'll ask you this. I'll Would tell you, you what, if I was, if I was in charge of civilization... <laughs> The minute we got to the point where we needed to build a shit tank, I'd be like, "We gotta, we gotta break up. Let's go our separate ways. Let's stick to tribes of a hundred people." So I was like, "Let's use. Like, we found a good yardstick. It's like, like uh, for me, it was like, like because you can't remember more than a hundred people's names. There was I saw something. There was I saw somebody just asked me a, a, a question about that. Was, oh, there was that. Well, they were like somebody. Somebody asked me um, because I was. We were in San Francisco, and before that, we were in Montreal. So I've, I've been experiencing a lot of like people recognizing me coming up to me and saying thank you uh, you helped me through a lot or like uh, can I get a picture with you just like people just like attention that you don't you don't normally get uh, in, in the course of your day to day life and somebody said how, uh, well, how, what, how do you what do you what do you think about that what is that do you get bored with that do you not like that and I was like I think it's kind of like I think it's like vitamin C I think it's something that that everyone else gets like in, like zero of I think I think I think I think you're supposed to get it like like 10 times a day that's not I'm not using vitamin C as an analogy anymore um, I, I, I think and I think that if you lived in like a tribe of like 100 people I think that every single person equally whether you were the guy that made the shoes or the, the person that made the roofs or the, the I was talking I'm like gender 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 um, uh, the, 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 the woman that made the big pipes the, 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 the welding um, or the guy that cut all the hair um, <laughs> I've, I've, I've fucking I live in a fucking like beam of light um <laughs> 
Um, but if you if you if you're the if you're uh, like like that everybody would 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 get that kind of like 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 everybody would walk would know each other's name and everybody would be like they wouldn't say hey can I take a selfie with you but it would it's be like, the same energy. I acknowledge. I acknowledge you. what you do. Thank you, Glenn, for like like those shoes you made my kids. They fit good today or whatever. Or oh boy, those roofs those roofs held up great last night under the rain and etc. Everybody would everybody would have that feeling several times a day. And the only people that actually get it are like Brad Pitt and like 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 Donald Trump and like like and it's 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 like 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 oh look there he is 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 a thing that you should actually like get a dose of and, and so we should have like a, a it's like communism but for for empathy yeah. or for like social like popularity <laughs> popular commun I just think we're not meant biologically to live three hundred million to a TP. Like, 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 like I, I don't, I just, I know, I, I think our bodies are, are still, are still, they, our muscle cells and our nerve cells and our brain cells are still think that we're a chimp that mm -hmm. recently learned to talk and swing <laughs> sticks around. That's actually true. I read um, that according to uh, certain studies, your brain can only, or rather the Different primates, uh, the different sizes of brains can only rep you know hold a certain number of other primates, and uh, recognize them as the same species. So, the number for ours is about 165 people, which is the exact so, size of a multicam yeah. sitcom's audience. <laughs> exactly. I, I, that, that is why we play that sound over and over yep. again. You watch Big Bang Theory, and you're like, "Oh, I'm being comforted. I hear my tribe laughing yep. with me." We don't play the sound of six million people laughing. No. Well, well, the well, because then we go like, yeah. "Wait, there's the ghost of the Holocaust." Why did I pick that number? <laughs> Could have picked any number. And anyone outside, <laughs> anyone outside of that number of 165 people is literally not human right. to you. Dan, would you rather, if you had the choice, uh, steady job cleaning out the poop tank, like the guy that gets down there with the hip waders on and like <laughs> scrubbing out the poop tank, or life of crime, do whatever you want. Like you, you had to actually figure out your own way to like be a burglar or a pickpocket or a safe cracker or whatever. What would you pick? Safe poop job or if I, free? If I, I, I literally, I literally have to choose between poop, 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 poop tank and that. <laughs> poop and, tank and, 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 and your own find your own adventure crime. Well, you, like, you, you have to get up in the morning. And go, oh shit! Do I do I am I a, am I a, a burglar? Do I do I right. carjack I people? I have, like I have an, to do something illegal. Yeah, this, this is like a super villain like origin story. <laughs> like, kind of. He was yeah. working in the poop, and then one day <laughs> he was given a he choice. He couldn't take any more. Would you rather wake up and go, shit? You know, like I, I don't want to go commit crimes every day and risk going to jail or risk, right. you know, like or hurt other people or steal their property. I, I, I will, I will do the poop job. Or, I, or, or do you yeah. think you could be a good bank robber? Well, I don't. No, I don't think I'd be a good bank you robber. Huh? Just for minimum wage. Let's say $20 Well, that's, a, I mean, that's like, like, yeah, I have questions about, like, standard of living, because, like, c c because, because if, if, because there's people in the, if, if I. It's a good union if job. If I scrub that poop tank. Yeah. From, from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Uh, see, that, in the union, you would only do, be doing a probably okay, right. eight-hour day. If I scrub that poop tank, like, 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 dutifully, do my job, show up, then du I clock dutifully. out. Dutifully. <sighs> You ask me yeah. these questions and then you just you're shrabbing me, man. Solid. <laughs> the shrabby bro. If, if I do that and then I come home and I can support a partner, yes. offspring. I mean, this, yeah. that's that's where everything uh, comes into play. A, a, a livable wage uh, at the poop tank. Well, but does that really mean it's just livable wage? Because we I mean, it's we not, change it's, the goalpost. You're not, on a you, you, you're not going to be living high on the hog. You're, you're going to be making poop tank money. I, <laughs> But I, I can have a Christmas where my kids don't cry because maybe they got they got they got the Optimus Prime it, instead it of the Bumblebee. On, I think it, I think it depends on how much poop comes in that year. I mean, I think I think it's it's I open just, to and, the, and then there's the, the question of, of poop economy. There's the question of upward mobility and retirement. I mean, yeah. do, 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 am I guaranteed to be able to clean that poop tank for thirty years, I, or am I a sucker union. if I do it for twenty and then they tag me? They oh, we invented I'm a poop talking, cleaning robot. I'm you're, talking you're a steady a steady union wage poop tank job. That you're never going to be rich, but you will always put bread on the table. I would, I would, I would, I, th I would be very. I think I would take that if. That, but but that, I mean that is making a lot of assumptions about like yeah. I would I would I would I would, would want to try that if that really if I really 
was had a had a guarantee of like you I can just do this every day and there's a certain amount of years I can do it where I get the pocket watch and the pension and blah blah blah. Yeah. But by the way, that's a myth now. That's the problem. That's what people are waking up to is that you can't you can't do that anymore. Which so I have to emphasize that that, that that's actually kind of a weird blue sky universe where you could do that. That's like some Lego world where you're like I'm a poop cleaning guy and I I get to do that. That's the problem is that then Flint, Michigan goes like no fuck you you don't make cars anymore and like like like, like and people are like what do you mean we're I, always, I was a we're always gonna have to clean poop tanks the poops like that's always gonna happen you, we're having two different conversations here <laughs> I, 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 I'm, because because the reality is like if, if, if there, there's like the blue sky with all these like like trigon, trigonometric like uh, 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 sort of like 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 everything being equal just so we can focus on the thing I would choose but then there's if we were just living in reality how I understand this country to 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 operate and and how things are going I I would I would choose the crime job because I know that the poop tank job is going to be very much very similar to living in prison like 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 where I am only just working to stay out of trouble and I'm only getting enough money to to stay in debt and, and that and that and that I'm not going to be able to support my kids eventually. Something's there's going to be curveballs thrown, and I'm going to be told to go fuck myself. Like I knowing that that's going to happen because we've dropped those. Like there's no guarantees, and I'm not saying like I'm not being Michael Moore and saying like we owe it to the workforce. To, I, I not necessarily. I'm just saying like 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 knowing as a subjective person. That that I don't think I think the myth of retirement and the myth of that the the that 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 job is over. I would I would I would go. I'm a smart guy. I could probably figure out how to steal shit from people that deserve to have shit stolen from them, and like and like I'll once once I get caught and go to jail, it'll be a lot like cleaning shit tanks. <laughs> Isn't that? I feel like that's like most criminals, right? No no criminals like I want to I want I want to do this because it's a bad. Thing. Right. They 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 do it. They don't want to like, be a sucker. Yeah. They yeah. want to like. Make, Welcome to the sense. podcast. Sympathetic criminals. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but I, I but I also think there's a lot of like terrible people, <laughs> sociopaths that go like, well, I mean, I think I think I think we're severely lacking too in our national psyche in terms of like you know we don't know that it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a syndrome. It's the whole thing. Like there is no there is no signal of this is what integrity is sent down from the top. There's no. It starts with the you look up above you and you see people are. Greedy and horrible, and they get away with whatever the fuck they want, and then and they don't they don't they don't they don't share their profits, and they don't they don't they don't make any promises that they can keep, and and so you go like I don't want it doesn't start with like I'm so mad and I'm gonna get mine. It starts with I don't want to be a sucker. I don't want to like do this for 15 years and then get fucked over. Like so you go somebody goes like Hey, I I could I could you know if you take this off the top you can sell it and like you know, your family can get a thing. Like I, I'm basing this all on movies. I don't know what the actual. <laughs> But uh, but also just a kind of common sense. I think that's uh, Spencer. Have you ever, ever, ever stolen anything? Oh, all the time. <laughs> I never stop. <laughs> For real. You though, hear I, about that? Did uh, you ever shoplift? Earth shine Jane glass. Oh yeah, that was you. <laughs> that was you all along. Oh yeah. You you, you never shoplifted or boosted anything in your life? I mean, I don't know. I think I've taken a couple candy bars. As far as people I talk to in general, people have shoplifted a lot more than I have. Uh, because it's like a weird thing. They say you do it until you get caught, but I've only done it like five times. <laughs> I, did, I did it until my mom caught me. I was like, do you I, know what you're doing? And I was like, well, yeah, I'm taking candy. Like, yeah, not, I they have it. so much of it. And she was like, <laughs> if everyone took candy, there wouldn't be candy. They'd have to raise the prices of the candy. And also, yeah, And I was like, oh, I didn't. I never got like shamed for it. I got oh, caught, God, like, I did. I got caught like with, with like... Uh, I think it was like a thousand dollars of of sunglasses, but it was like it, it was that it, it was that phase. It was like that phase in high school where like yeah, where I just had like yes, yeah. <laughs> but it wasn't even like sunglasses I wanted. It was an open. I was with my friends and it was an open thing, and we were just like, oh, we this is we have this power, right? And it's like for the first time in your life, you have access to uh, uh, like. Social capital, right? And and it's it it feels like you you figured out a secret path. And yeah. So, so you took them. Yeah, and then I got caught. <laughs> and then oh, no. they, oh, yeah. they bring you to the back room. Well, a thousand dollars—that's grand theft. Like you, you I can, know. I got Were you over eighteen? I, 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 I like I like cried a lot, and and they let. Were they you over never, or under eighteen years old? Uh, under, I think it was under. Yeah, because like, no, 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 no. I was. I think I'm over. Yeah, you can do time for that shit, man. <laughs> yeah, um, that was lucky. Uh, I got uh, I, I got under. caught stealing when I was five. Um, I, s- <laughs> <laughs> I didn't trust you. I mean, <laughs> 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 it's just a 
When I was when I was five, they were I was supposed to pick up two keys of of, of kratom <laughs> at the loading docks. <laughs> Motherfuckers stepped on it. I took a toot. I knew what was going on. Yeah. I had to jack them, <laughs> marina style. That's right. So there was there was massage involved because I felt bad for him afterwards. <laughs> Wait, well, there, uh, there was a massage based crime that was. Yeah. Yeah, she can kill Not you with real. massage. You, if you, you she, if she can heal pain, she can cause it. She's like a cleric. I can make you throw it. Yes, there you go. Yeah, totally. It's like spa. Uh, yes. Yeah. I approve of that joke. <laughs> Spencer approved. I had taken a teddy bear to the grocery store um, and stole a five-pound bag of jelly beans because I was very ambitious and uh, also economic. I what if the teddy bear never came back into the story? <laughs> You, said you took a teddy bear to the was, grocery store. It was store. my teddy bear. I took right. it and I hid the bag behind uh, behind the bear okay. against my chest and I made it. I got out and went home and uh, went into... The, I had this uh, Sesame Street tent in my bedroom and I, right. but I just had no patience. So I opened the bag and started eating them. And I didn't realize this, but I left like a trail of jelly beans <laughs> leading to the tent. Why? So my uh, my parents found me and uh, they told they made me go back to the store after giving me a long lecture about how I had tarnished the family name. Oh shit! <laughs> and uh, <laughs> just dragged it through the mud. And we lived in a very small. I, I grew up in a fishing village, and so everybody knew everybody. So that's, that's why your name really is that's why your name is Marina. <laughs> she she is it Wonder Woman. Is. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, so yeah, I had to apologize uh, for that. And uh, my parents had weird ways of teaching me uh, moral lessons. When I was about the same age, I, we, we went to New York, and I saw um, a, a little person for the first time in my life. I didn't think he was real. I thought he was a puppet that somebody had just ingeniously designed to walk on its own. So I just was just... He had a little what suit and a little briefcase. <laughs> And so I was just marveling over this mechanical man <laughs> to, to my brother, just, you know, making mm. a scene. And uh, my mom made me uh, get up off the uh, subway seat and offer my seat to him, even though he already had a seat of his own. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, but take, take hers. Yeah. Yep. All the more delicious for your tiny buttocks. <laughs> These are these are padded with revenge. Yes. We we have a family name to protect here. <laughs> what is your family's name? <laughs> oh, we can't drag the the name of McGillicuddy through this sort of filth. Uh, it, was, it was Eller, but that's you know, nobody. Yeah. Yeah, no. I mean, uh, no. <laughs> so you went all the way to robot right away. Like I you, did, uh, it was the, <laughs> it was the like only baby. thing that made sense. I didn't know this was a thing, mm. and uh, I just had to had to figure out how. There was a worked. there was a guy uh, in South Milwaukee. Uh, uh, God damn it! What was his name? It was a robot. <laughs> it was a uh, no. There was a. My grandma would go. Do you want to go? Damn it! What was his name? It was something. He, he was. It was a title. It was like, like, like. Do you want to go to this McDonald's? There was a oh, McDonald's in South Milwaukee. And he's the brownie, right? Yeah, yeah. And his name was like, oh, Billy the Brownie. The um, brownie. I, 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 I was fucking like scared shitless by um, the concept of little anything I, um, uh, when I was a kid. I, I, don't, I had nightmares about. Uh, marionette puppets and 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 regular puppets and just anything small like I just I just thought was trying to kill me I, like dolls and things I just they they're all I just terrified of all of them and there was a guy named Billy the Brownie that hung out at the McDonald's I my grandma would make it seem like he was part of the McDonald's mythos but he wasn't. <laughs> Like, as I grew it's older, like I was guy. like, wait, I had a right to be freaked out. There's no Billy the Brownie in these commercials. <laughs> this was just a fucking dude, like like, 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 in that Donald Sutherland movie, like, uh... Mash? No, uh... <laughs> no, I like, don't look now. <laughs> go, go, Google don't look now, like, 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 uh... But, 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 like, uh, it's a 70s, like, thriller horror movie, but, uh... It, 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 but it was like, it was like, 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 he was just, he was just a guy that was there, he would, and he would Dresses a brownie and he would come to your table and like so talk to you. Grandma, like the dessert like, or the uh, the fairy? 
Like the fairy. Oh, oh, yeah, like the fairy, like the like a like the mythical creature. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't clarify that. I mean, she would, yeah, Billy the Brownie, They're like, like, like a little person. He was a little person, and he would dress like a. No, I do. He wouldn't dress like a brownie. My grandma maybe just called him Billy the Brownie. Oh my God. <laughs> It sounds like she created. I don't think this he didn't dress thing. like a fucking Ren fair like like they, grandma, I think like, he was just a dude that was trying to like maybe have his breakfast. He could have been a truck driver. So your grandma called him Billy the Brownie. Yeah, and I know I'm realizing like maybe that be, me and Billy the Brownie were both being abused by my grandma like 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 put into a can like two wasps and just shake shaken like 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 hey, here talk to him he's Billy the Brownie and I'm like what the fuck and he's like what the fuck. <laughs> I, I, I never was. Well, yeah, I would. I, I was real scared of Billy the Brownie. And there was a. There was a. There was a. Uh, there was a, a marionette doll that my mom had in the closet that she called Clemens C. Clemens, who had, this is like this weird like 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 what is that like it's like it was like it's like paper mache but like hardened. It was like like this little guy had a little little straw hat on and it's just all fucked up like looking like and she'd like bring it out once in a while and be like oh, it's Clemens C. Clemens and I go get it out get it away it's a fucking horrific. The horrible little murderer. It was like 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 Freddy Krueger looking thing with strings coming out of every joint. It's like controlling it. It's like a spider. It's like 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 everything about it. It's fucking terrifying. And then she'd like, oh, it's okay, 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 you pussy. I'm putting it back in the Tupperware container and putting it in the closet. Like yeah, the closet across from my bedroom. Like I now know, like Clemens C. Clemens is just in there. Like 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 suffocating about and me. wants out. Yeah, like yeah, he, he knows. That I, I, I'm the one like, okay, Clemency, Clemens, Daniel doesn't like you. You, should, you might as well, you guys, you got to go back to sleep in this, this, this plastic container across from his bed. Does he have a backstory, Clemency? Was Clemens? that like a hobby of hers? I don't know if my mom is made it the doll. C my dad or Clemency, like Clemens. Oh, Clemency, Clemens. Is, is it Clement C. Clemens? Oh, God. Yeah. It's, it's, see, it's the weird. It's like a New Clemency Line Cinema like, horror movie. Like, it's like, like it's a, oh, it's, it's Clemency Clemens. Like, he's like, he, 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 he got Clemency. Clemency. From his, from yeah. his Tupperware for his horrible prison. murders. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's still waiting for that pardon. I'm going to have nightmares about Clemency Clemens. I, I'm picturing the closet and the Tupperware. Oh, we all will. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and I used to I I used to have I had nightmares I had recurring nightmares about a character that was like a little puppet that was like I guess it was because of Mister Rogers he had like the little puppet char- characters and I like the boomerang boomerang lady boomerang uh, the lady that Fairchild. was scary a boomerang um, lady and I ch- yeah there was like a there was a version of her in my nightmares that yeah, was always me tormenting me <laughs> um, well I had a, I always had a re- re- recurring nightmare where. I'd be like, it would be like, you know, uh, it was like a black background with with only just like well lit fog on the ground, you know, like one of those dreamscapes. And it's midnight, and I know it's midnight because there's this Muppet style grandfather clock. <laughs> And he strikes midnight, and when he strikes midnight, he shoots arrows into my body. Oh, my God. And I get struck by 12 arrows. It was a recurring nightmare I had. Dealing 20 damage. I was just going to say that. <laughs> yeah. It was a critical hit. Uh, <laughs> respectfully, loud guy is raising his hand. Yeah. I have another question. Okay. All right. I don't so, know. Well, your, your, well last one, your last one. one got us somewhere. Well, I, I don't know it. about that. So I keep Doug, believing Doug in Doug you. from the post. Yeah, hit another question. Um. So you're on, <laughs> so you're on a plane and the plane crashes on a deserted island, <laughs> and everyone survives. And now you're on an island with 165 people, <laughs> and since so you're Dan Harmon, they look to you as the leader. So you, because Seth Rogen's not on the flight. Is yeah, exactly. so, so now, like, so now you have to create a civilization, right? Like, so, so what does that government look like? <laughs> and, and one thing I was thinking: the plane, the plane happens to crash on a desert island. Think, think of the odds of that. I mean, what? It's, I mean, oh, oh, you get washed up. You and get what if that up. island was on the moon, like the premise of Harmon Town? <laughs> right. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, 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 what does someone have to do to get banished? Right? Like, like what, how, does the, how does, like, a punishment system work? Like, 
What if someone's being a real dick? But there's only 165 people on this island. What you, what how, how many are there of us tonight here? <laughs> well, the easy well the easy thing is what if someone's being a real dick? That's the that's the whole problem with the justice system of any government is that we always conceive of like what if someone's being a real dick, and then we go like okay, well if that happens, then we'll do this to them, um, and then we wait for someone to be a real dick, and then we do that to them, and it's always and, and that's about one percent of the cases, and the rest of it is like well I was hungry, I needed bread, but I didn't mean it, I thought it was mine, and all this shit, and then everyone's calling each other being a real dick and you're still using the same mentality that's like i i just i guess i would try to figure out beforehand i mean i, I like, like like when we start our moon colony i just i'm just gonna bring like only beta people like i'm gonna they're gonna be screened for the inability to to aggress uh <laughs> So that we can all just like, because we had a, we had a fun experience where we were shuffling around. Uh, what was it, Montreal? Team Beta, yeah. Yeah, we we were the Beta Beta tribe. Like like Jeff got peeled off somehow. Like otherwise Jeff would be like making all you know the decisions, and we would be tumbleweeds and stuff. And like there I th- there was like mounting things of like stress. It's like we don't know what we're doing. We don't know what we're doing. Like Cody. Uh, has like confided to me in the past it's like sometimes I'll turn into a little baby when I'm like walking around with her and like without realizing it and then sometimes she'll be doing that to me and like 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 cuz it's like there's usually like a like someone in the group that's like you know so you know just more comfortable having opinions and let's go here let's go there and uh, like but and we were just we just happened to be with a group of like five or six people and none of them were that that person and and we were just kind of drifted for a while like a garbage bag in american beauty and we <laughs> but we were still there was still cohesion and then there were there's there like mounting points of frustration where you could just almost feel like you could feel like spencer was doing the opposite of a shark where he was circling the idea of leaving like, like, <laughs> Like Spencer would just start getting more and more distant, and then like, 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 but then, but then he he'd come back, and then like, we eventually like started making random decisions, and we had, we had a really nice dinner in that in that one restaurant or a lunch or something. I don't, I, I don't remember. I don't know. <laughs> Why? It was nice. It was really nice. But I, but I, so I would I I mean I just don't I don't know man like because the thing is like people people are people are people are monsters like they like they they'll they'll kind of like they don't. I don't know. I don't even know. I don't know if I believe in people anymore. I feel well, it's yeah. like I have a riddle for you about uh, how oh, to tell shit. if you're a serial killer or if you could become a serial killer. It was Maybe the it'll sister. Your- <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Continue. Awesome. The doctor was a woman. <laughs> What's what's well, what, what's, if, uh, the, what's the if any of you guys? Uh, let's see who here has the mind of a serial killer. <laughs> if you can answer this riddle, then you have the mind of a serial killer. Or you regardless of whether or not you already have a body count. <laughs> you'll yeah. See, That's you'll a good point. <laughs> if you're just it's a, a really point. stupid yeah. serial killer, you get off scot free. But if you yeah, if you're stupid, you'd think you'd get caught though. So oh, you, you would. could just be a killer though. No, but what if you're a really cowardly one? That's the thing that freaks me out all the time. Is I, I look at people and I go, the only thing standing between that person and being a serial killer is that they're just all chicken shit. Yep. <laughs> like, like, like 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 I think feel like that person would if they could get, if they could do bad yeah. shit they'd get and get yeah. away with it they if, would. If, if I had a boat, you'd all be you'd all be dead. <laughs> You gotta have a boat. You gotta have a boat. I would never, I would never hurt anybody if I could get away with it. I, I truly believe that. But and then at the same time, I think that, and I think that's most of us. And the weird thing is, we spend most of our energy in society building, trying to make it possible for us to not have to think about how we're hurting people without thinking about it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like that's that that's the biggest like. Uh, uh, right. that, 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 that's, that, that's, that's that's how we how we make the trains run that, on time. Uh, document that's uh, active killing. That's that's like the whole thing, right? They like, yeah. I mean, their whole culture. Well, no, no, no. I guess not. Well, yeah, they, I mean, the, yeah. Active killing was a. Uh, it, 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 I mean, that's an example of the fact that as long as anybody up top is just saying this is fine, if they're not, if the people you're killing have a label on them, like communist or terrorist or criminal right. or murderer or whatever, like, like, and no one ever flips the game on you, that you can actually walk through life going like, oh yeah, and then I, and then I did that thing where I was an awesome person. Right. But it's, it's interesting killed, that they like, like keep on, they keep on like going to the same stories because it's like the thing they, they can't escape. And then, right. And then, yeah, there's and some then, like weird thing haunting them and yeah. eating away at them, which is kind of an uplifting thing possibly that maybe there is something in there. But anyways, the, I think that, I think the thing is it's like 
we try to make it as easy as possible. It's like we're Spencer and I were talking about this. So dichotomy. We talk about it all, man. Dichotomy is a crutch. That's the thing. Like every 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 single aspect of our society, it always comes down like to some choice between one or two things. Like like the big thing is obviously the the, the candidacy right now, the elections. Like 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 throughout our lives, we're like left and right, and we're gonna every comment section is like you're either one of these or one of those. And like we that that is actually an expression of like on mass like laziness. Like because if you only have to choose whether you're this or that. Like you save so much fucking time, like like having to think like every second, like what am I? Who am I? How do I feel? Like like if you just go like, oh, I'm I'm I don't want to be like that. I'm not one of those. And then you like you've just now you're just hanging out. You're like, well, I'm a liberal, so I have six hours to play Minecraft. <laughs> like like because if there was no word for liberal and or, or, or conservative, then I would have to spend that six hours going like, yeah, but what about my neighbor? What about my neighbor's right. daughter? What about that homeless guy in the corner? It's what the same about reason, like. Like, like 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 writing in films and 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 TV are, are, are so shitty like like diversity wise because it's hard it's just hard to it's harder to uh, get find people people of color because there's no there's right. no infrastructure I blame right. casting agencies <laughs> it, well diversity is difficult right because and, and the first thing it's the, not that the first way that we tackle diversity is we break that into a dichotomy we go white right. or colorful right. uh, and then we and then we'll like we'll and it's not necessarily that we're we're and people are like racist racist it's not like we hate it's not necessarily that all casting directors hate black people it's that all <laughs> casting directors like to go home early. We, yeah. we told we told we told casting directors for eighty years now. We told them to they better get good at f- sorting human beings right. uh, uh, like documents in a filing cabinet or coats in a rack, or they're fired. Well, so you, if I can't call my casting director and go, I need a six foot five black guy with a lazy eye. <laughs> it's a, it's a, like like in nineteen eighty three, like like the person that can do that is like a better casting right, right. director. Now all of a sudden it's like. <laughs> No, we're like going to engage in the fucking unpredictable uh, nuances of humanity. And they're like, is, does that include me? Because I'm like a dentist for people. Like, like, like each tooth is a person on your cast. And so, yeah, like, like, like it, it is like th- that. That particularly, like, like, you want them all to be really white. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, by by default. Yeah, yeah. But, but you yeah. got you got you got that one oh. kind of weird brown tooth. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, white it's, and it's, straight. It's actually pretty stumbled into a pretty good metaphor. But yeah, it's like all different shaped white people that. Uh, yeah, like, like what, what, you got you got your Paul Giamatti who grinds the food. <laughs> You got your Paul Rudd in front who's just biting it and, you know. <laughs> um, uh, uh, yeah, anyways, it's, uh, I got sidetracked by that. But I, I kind of like simultaneously. What, what's, the, what's the serial killer uh, riddle? Right. Ooh, okay. Oh, yeah. All right. So uh, anybody. Because you're either a serial killer or you're not. Oh, yeah. That's the dichotomy. Dichotomies, yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> All right, so there's a funeral. Uh, a woman goes to a funeral for her mother, and when she's there, she meets this amazing guy. He's just the guy, the man of her dreams. She's instantly in love with him, and she really wants to see him again. They have a great time at the reception somehow, despite the fact that it's her mother's funeral. Um, but they don't exchange contact info. Um, and uh, a week later, her sister dies. Why? If you can answer that, then you can think like a serial killer. No, it's, she goes home and kills her sister. So, Why? thank you, Tom. <laughs> he's, uh, he's heard this riddle. <laughs> Why, is there a str- Why is there a stranger at her mom's funeral? Uh, <laughs> that's, that's, the, that's part of it. That's part of it. Part of it. Sister. Yeah. Oh, sorry. She oh. The sister because if the dude's at the mom's funeral, it's probably going to be at the sister's funeral. Right. Good job. Right. You got it. Thank you, Doug. <laughs> Doug from the Post. Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> well, they estimate that up to 25% of Americans are sociopaths, so one out of every four. But, but sociopaths aren't, aren't psychopaths, right? Isn't that like no, a there, that's there different. There's yeah. a difference. There's, and there's also a very big spectrum. Some sociopaths. So one, two, so three, male, four. Some, you know, yeah. 25% are In sociopaths. American I don't know. If, you look in, like, um, it looks if you're like a sociopath, you could probably take us all out if you banded together. <laughs> if, just think if you it. kill somebody's sister to meet her at a funeral, <laughs> you might be a sociopath. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah. If we're going to have a show where everybody can talk whenever they want, you guys have to, you guys have to let each other talk, too. You can't just talk over each other. 
And then I get confused. You're all sociopaths. So I'm like, like, what the fuck is going on? Everyone's just talking at the same time. Uh, oh, Dan t- took a dark turn. I guess he... Uh, no, I, 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 my heart bleeds for everybody who's like, I have a little piece of information I'd like to share. And then everyone's like, I'm going to do a bit. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Doug, Doug, Doug from, the, from the post has another question. What's your next question, Doug? What's on your, what's on your mind, Doug? Uh, could you walk us through a day when Spencer <laughs> and Jeff woke up in each other's bodies? <laughs> are you just, the question I, is, could Dan walk all of us? Are you just like pitching like, spec scripts now? <laughs> oh, it sounds like some weird slash shit. <laughs> uh, Dan, he, can Dan pitch a day w- where Spencer and I are in each other's bodies? I mean, d- that happened in Montreal. And it's like it was. There was a little bit of a. Look, sh- I mean, I, I was inside Spencer, but I wouldn't say I was <laughs> inside his body. Yeah, I mean, I would I'm, say you were. Part of me was inside Spencer's Semantics. body. Semantics. Look, I was fucking, and I mean, fucking Spencer. Um, he was fucking me. <laughs> and I mean, fucking me. <laughs> I don't know. Well, I think the important thing to answer your question, I mean, the, the, it would be is the uh, is the uh, first quarter of the story before that happens, because that would happen at the threshold, uh, is where you know, because first you'd have to establish that Jeff is like uh, very into his clothes and uh, uh, that he doesn't have time for uh, uh, dice and uh, and that, and that Spencer I, loves, I got no time for dice loves dice but doesn't care about clothes and then they and then like Spencer and then there's like a magic dot or something and they're both trying to grab it and they go like you have it better than me and you know I do <laughs> and then it would just be like you know right. uh, another 20 minutes of them going like holy shit well uh, I guess we we, if I could, we don't have time to figure out how to fix this because I have a dice convention to go to um, but I, you I, have I, to go for me because you're in my body if, if I woke up in Spencer's body and go oh I have to go like make it through my day and I'm, I am in Spencer's body I think that, I think that'd be pretty easy. I, I think that like I, I go like th- this is way easier than having like a like to go to the dry cleaners and pick up a suit. <laughs> would, would, like, I, I could just, would you would you if you were in Spencer's body would you like go and find a suit though that that no that I, I, I I think that, I think what I would do is like luxuriate in not oh, having to wear a suit. It's like suit vacation. Yeah, <laughs> suit vacation. I mean that's. That, that's the name of the movie. It's Suit Vacation. Uh, it might be called uh, di- Die and Tie. Di- tie and Die. But meanwhile, Spencer would be going. Spencer would be showing up to. Well, I mean, it depends because in the Switch Room movie, you got to have the scene where, 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 you, where you you have to go dungeon master. Well, also, 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 I would. I, I'd wake up. Oh, I'm Spencer, and I look in the. I look in the mirror. And I go. Oh my God, I'm Spencer. I, I look like Spencer like like my suits aren't going to fit anymore because we're different body shapes I'm like I have to like, I only I have to get to this thing I only have you Spencer have to get clothes. to Harmontown yeah I got, you're I, sitting on the opposite exactly. side well that'd be pretty easy compared to the other things yeah. 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 Mischief but Spencer like if you woke up and you and you were me you would say oh shit like I mean you, you could put on cargo shorts and, and a t-shirt oh yeah you can rock those <laughs> We know this. Would you, would, would you wear a suit? Like, would you would you go into my closet and go? I'll, I'll, I'll cosplay as Jeff. So Davis? do we start in each other's houses? <laughs> let's just say yes. Okay. Let me, let, let's say that, that that's accessible. Well, uh. let's say you wait. You wake up in each other's bodies. So it's one of those like uh, like Blake Edwards uh, switched or whatever with uh, Jimmy Smith and uh, it's uh, like uh, Freaky Barkin. Friday. Exactly. <laughs> well, you, yeah, you wake up. So you wake up in Jeff's apartment in Jeff's body. Okay. And you're naked. You wake up in Spencer's apartment. Right. Well, first Spencer's off, I body. immediately start jerking off. Right. <laughs> I'd kill myself. Because you got to go like, what is, what is so Spencer? You both jerk what is Spencer off. There's a that? split screen as you both come. <laughs> it's like an anime. Like, like, ah! <laughs> like a two-man Voltron. <laughs> Uh, so then you're done coming, and now you go to the you bo- there's like a you go to the closet, you open the closet, and like like clean up no. the, you clean up the it's cum. someone else's body. Yeah, <laughs> it's not my responsibility. I, I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's not my department anymore. Yeah. <laughs> 
Uh, All right, so I wake up in Spencer's place. I'm looking around, and I go, okay, well, I'm naked. I just jerked off. <laughs> Came all over Spencer's bedroom. I, I, yeah. all, all I got is Spencer clothes, so I'm going to dress in Spencer clothes. Yeah. I don't think I go right out and start buying suits that fit Spencer body. <laughs> I think I just go, fuck it, I'm Spencer. Nice. Right? Well, would, you, would you be Spencer, or would you try to be Jeff? But in Spencer's body. Well, do, do I still have the will and the, and the volition that I, that I have? Like, I, I, I'm, yeah, no, I mean, I, I guess I, I would start having to make some decisions of like who, what is a physical Jeff Davis? Like, is it Jeff Davis only about like caring about his clothes and his hair, or or is it like growing a beard all of a sudden? I mean, there has to be. You have to. You have to. First, you have to come up with like. I mean, it's, a, it's a it's a tough it's a tough movie to break. It's a good it's like, question. Doug, it's high post. risk, low reward. Is a, like this uh, this project, you know? Because it, like it's going to end up with a skateboard chase and like <laughs> it's just not going to match. Which Everything's one of us be, like, doesn't this, isn't comfortable with the skateboard? It's gonna, it's going to be a forced arc because like it's not because a body switching movie again to support our point about dichotomy being a crutch for like a lazy psyche. It's like oh yeah, of course if you just take Jodie Foster and whoever her mom was uh, like. Like, like you, you, you swap them, then you automatically have to reduce each character to like I'm neat, she's therefore sloppy, like etc. Well, you know. Fuck it. You become Jeff. Jeff becomes Spencer, and Spencer becomes you. Now it's not a dichotomy; it's a tricon. Yeah, we just solved. <laughs> now the movie. Wh- wh- just when did follows. Doug get the fucking conk on this fucking thing? Like, <laughs> <laughs> I this wanted to hear what you, you were saying about this, the sociopaths. She was talking about like the the the. the she said twenty five percent of Americans are sociopaths. <laughs> I have one question there, which is: Is it just America, or was it okay? That's just where they did the study, or did they do they know for a fact that other countries have a much lower sociopath? Japan was like up to three percent. No way. (laughs) What? Now, are we relying on each country? Oh man! Are we the sociopath next door? For those of you who want to research, and we'll 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 touch base again. It's like um, it's like um, what was the the show with uh, Cosby the the with magic pen the. Picture pages. Yes, yes. I forgot, and then I was like, Cosby, really? Okay. Um, but um, so, but uh, I just, got I just, to I just use keep on magic, like to... if, it, if everybody, if every, like everybody gets together and go, let's figure out how many sociopaths each country has, and then you just go like, okay, Japan, let us know, and then they come back and I go, three percent, and you're like. <laughs> All right, so all right, so Spencer, so, you, so, so buying little girls panties out of a vending machine oh, yeah. must really just sate that thirst, like, like so, so you don't become a yeah. sociopath. No, yeah, it's uh, that's that's the thing. Apple a day, dot dot dot. Oh, uh, what what kind of figures did you guys come up with? Yeah, fuck you. I, so Spencer, you wake up at my place. Do you, do you, do you would, would you would go like, oh fuck, I'm gonna try on one of these suits, or do you go fuck this shit? I'm gonna go right. To, you guys love this movie. No. Hey, hey, I do not. This is not my question. (laughs) Or do you say who's the I would get in contact with me. That's the first thing. Of course course you guys would call each other. Yeah, that's what I'd do. I'd be like, hey, what do we do? What do we do with this? My my first question is did did you just jerk off like I just jerked off? Because you sound sleepy. (laughs) But it's 10 a.m. And if I know my body. (laughs) Also. Yes, yeah, somebody's just tried to change my passwords on my computer. Like, like, like. <laughs> all right, but any, but like twenty five percent of Americans are sociopaths. So, but twenty five percent of men in federal prison. Uh, Wait, what? what? <laughs> Do you know this guy? <laughs> I just googled it. It's you oh, you, of the general population, twenty five percent of men in prison. Uh, oh. In your face, Japan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Although seventy percent of our population is in prison. No, it's, I mean seriously, it's, don't we have like a quarter of our fucking uh, of the? Well, we have a quarter of the world's prison population, right? That's a statistic. Yeah. Like, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's the biggest we, corporation. We, we love it's the McDonald's of America. Yeah, because it's like it's it's, it's, it's a, McDonald's. We're the McDonald's of America. <laughs> it's an easy way to define poverty. Is to just go yeah. like, oh yeah, yeah, it's illegal to be poor, so I have to yeah just go in here because God forbid we'd ever say we were socialists, in, in which case you'd go like, oh you're not very good at capital. You should get a place to live until you figure it out. Well, like, like, like until you get good at it. Here's three meals a day. We go like, well, why don't we wait until you beat someone up with a pool cue? Then we'll bang a gavel, no, yell at you, and give you a free home. It's, it's wait until you in, wait until you uh, bring your weed outside, or we'll, we'll arrest you for the rest of your life. 
and aren't I mean, white. yeah. I mean, we're not if you're black. Right? Sorry. Yeah, I do that just fine. <laughs> and I'm shady as fuck. <laughs> You sold those candy bars once? Yeah, man. <laughs> we're all, we're all I, just to be clear, I you know, I stole a lot less bad shit than any of you guys. <laughs> I'm way I'm the best person off this stage. Wait, 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 wait. How many candy bars? What's the going exchange with candy bars and jelly? Why do you guys candy? steal so many candy bars? <laughs> like, I didn't steal candy Yeah, why don't we just steal glasses? <laughs> <laughs> that's where the that's the real value proposition. <laughs> Also, Spencer, how old were you when you sold the candy bars? Well, you know, like 14, 15. Well, they say. Good you. age. <laughs> Nimble fingers. I, I, I used to go steal shit that, that I didn't even want. I would just walk into yeah, a, yeah. A, a department store and just take shit that I didn't even want. And it was just about the game of can I, yeah, can can you, I can walk in, look you in the eye as the clerk, and walk out with the shit that I, like, I just pick shit up right in front of you and go, ah, it's, it's, and it's, walk out. And it's like, it's you, like nobody thrill. expects it. <laughs> I just want to say because we're 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 in the we're 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 we've come to the end of our time. Uh, but I and I did want to say because we touched on this darkness of like society in general, like, and it's an election year, a hundred days or something from it's the a fucking. Huge. It's huge. It, my therapist told me year. it's going to be said, really huge. Like like there's a, you know the suicide rate goes up, the domestic violence rate goes up. Like we in general, like we do for better or for worse, Americans. I think this is our purge. Yeah. So every four years, like an anarchist would say, yeah, it's every four years we we vent everyone's uh, feeling of needing to be in control of society by giving them the illusion they can change society by pulling a lever in a curtain booth. And so, but 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 that's the cynical way of saying it. Another way of saying it is like every four years. We have this immense responsibility on us, and blah, 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 blah. but um, the <laughs> which side am I on? The, the side where I go. <laughs> <laughs> but, hey, no, that's just the side that requires more reading. And I don't. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, but but uh, just, in any case, it's every every four years, according to my therapist. Like like they, they, there is this rise in like craziness. Like like we all start to feel it. And the and the and we and we're we're in constant contact with each other on the internet. We're like painting this picture. I I, I just want you know I just want to mitigate that and say I think that. I think that the reason it gets to us is because it still holds just as true. I think that most of us are pretty chill and probably want the world to be great and would probably be willing to do a lot of stuff to make it great and are really concerned that, like, like, like just kind of like we're this parakeet in a mirror that they like, start looking at this stuff and we start obsessing about it. And we go, like, how many? And, and then we put on these weird carnival masks in these comment sections and all the usernames are like oh, flip flop yeah. 69 and we're just going like, it's like, like fucking weird, like t- playing these Appalachian characters. Like yelling at each other about abortion clinics and stuff, but it, I think that I think the silent majority are people that are fucking moderate about everything and would just be like, like, like would be able to have a fundamental principle of like, as long as nobody's getting hurt, I'm okay with it. And uh, like, I do I think that we inhale a lot of secondhand smoke from the from the internet, as as she'd say, my therapist, like. And that's all fine. No one has to walk away from it or ignore any of it or think that any of it's unimportant. But I, but the message that none of us are getting at this time um, is the one that is right under our nose and doesn't profit anybody, doesn't make you click on anything, doesn't pay anything, doesn't get you riled up. The, the, it's just the truth, which is that we're... There's a whole bunch of super cool people like like being totally like like we just, we're anxious about wishing that, that that the world could be a better place and like you're, we're we're we 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 still we we are it's, there's happiness possible some so somehow <laughs> some way like we're not it's not the apocalypse yet it just keeps seeming like it like I think I think we'll laugh at it in the year 2040. I think we'll go. Remember, we kept thinking like it felt like the end. Like I, 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 yeah. I, I we'll be like Trump was great. <laughs> he's not. He's not going to win. We, we all panicked. We, he seemed like a douchebag, but it turns out, you know, what? His, his foreign policy was right on point. So, he, he solved world hunger. Or it turned out the president didn't matter. We finally. It exited, doesn't matter. We it finally, doesn't ex- fucking matter. We finally matter. exited the age of fuck. We finally was forced out of us by an elite ruling class that are born politicians and die politicians and pay themselves to do nothing but pretend yeah. that everyone needs to be told what to do like an animal. And we exited that age and entered a proper age where we would go like those guys are civil servants
servants, and they need to either this pageant needs to stop where it's like like oh who's the most amazing world leader like the leader of the free world it's like fuck you who's gonna like balance the budget and like in the meantime like who's gonna fill the potholes on my street and um, you know and maybe we'll have some nice fish fries at our local churches and uh, bingo games and like jump rope competitions some and, our pancakes at the firehouse um, and maybe find. we'll we can, I think we can get back to one mass shooting a year oh yeah I, I think, really do I, I think the we 90s were so awesome it was like a it was like Christmas the mass shooting was like this crazy like, whoa somebody shot like a million people and the, like, like whoa I, my pitch is that we have we only have one but it's like a huge one like like, like, like it's like it's have a good mass shooting every year they gotta stop being weekly it's getting me getting yeah. me down uh, let's go <laughs> it's getting you down I don't know <laughs> <laughs> these mass shootings are kind of kind of cramping your style yeah <laughs> yeah I'd like them to be less mass <laughs> Like to get and back. more shooting. <laughs> yeah, well, that's fun. Pew, pew, pew. Yeah, that would be, that's the thing. Like the, the mass shootings aren't the problem. It's the it's the fact yeah, that the, if the bullets was, keep hitting people. If there was a guy, you're just like like mass shooting. It's like a food fight. Pew, 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 pew. pew. Yeah, I'm like things are spinning around. Yeah, uh, yeah. If, if a guy went up to, up into a, like a, a a clock tower and just missed everybody, that'd be great. Yeah. Well, like the o, the, the, the the OK Corral. That was like the like that was like the coolest gunfight ever. It was like seven dudes died or something. Like, yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah, they missed a bunch though. And I bet it lasted hours. Like like, and they were all like related. Like, oh, uh, McClintock got shot. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you got that totally wrong. <laughs> Anyways, I think it was short, and almost everybody died except for one or two people. My point was because I only see you guys once a week. Like I just wanted you to make it through this week. Aww. Like Aww. I'll, Aww. I'll see you again next Thank week. You. Thanks. Like we always we start by talking about like oh who needs help and like let's talk to each other and then it always inevitably we we scrape down it's to that of, part. Like, the reason why we're gathered here is because my alienation and your alienation and we go like we got to get the fuck out of here. Like this planet sucks. <laughs> like we're all doomed. But and, and and it's true. We are. It's true. And we. We'll get out of here, but 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 like like it would be a shame if we didn't make it to the uh, launch pad, you know, it's, because we got. It's caught kind of amazing. Like I came up here because like I, I think everyone thinks this when they when they come to Harmontown. It's like I want I want to come, and it's partly selfish because you want to be in, and you, because we're all narcissists to some degree, and I'm I'm a narcissist, I'm, I'm for sure. Uh, but it's like Harmontown is 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 the closest thing I have to a, a church. It's the closest thing I, I have to something that I, I come back to weekly. And, and I, is I the side of your body feeling any pain anymore? Oh! Yes! <laughs> Thank you for coming to Harmontown, everybody. Everybody is whole now. Let's hear for Gabrielle. Gabrielle. Marina. Her name means a house by a water. <laughs> Let's hear it uh, for Doug Frisburn from the Washington Post. Spencer Creighton and I'm Jeff Davis, your mayor, Dan Harmon. Let's try to get it from church status to cult status uh, very quickly. Can, can we pass the plate? Uh, when, when do we pass around? I'm just going to pass. I'm going to straight to passing Kool-Aid. Like, I, I don't need money. Good. You pass the plate. Uh, yeah. Oh. Drive fast and take chances. Thank you so much. Did you get any of that? It's a good show. Feral Audio.